What's up guys, a uh, very good day. Um, my name is Feku and uh, welcome back to another video. Um, as stoked as you all are to uh, have Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 with us today. Um, there are a few uh, people or plenty of people that report issues of their game crashing to um, desktop, also known as uh, CTDs. Um, I've been doing some extensive testing. Um, if I go bring up my, uh, my task manager over here um i was doing some research because my game would also quite often just crash to desktop out of nowhere uh i am running a uh, amazon uh, 4090 graphics card and a patched uh, i9 4900k cpu so i thought it was weird that my system was um, simply crashing and uh going back to desktop without any logical explanation uh, uh, i've updated all my drivers to the la latest drivers um made sure that i even reinstalled the sim uh, to make sure that maybe something went wrong loading up the sim or downloading the sim the first time uh, but all of that didn't help so what i did is the following um if you have random crashes to desktop you want to open up your task manager and check for your gpu usage um, before I make my changes, my GPU usage would be at uh, 90 to 95 percent and sometimes max out at 100 percent, even while being in the main menu over here. Obviously, this creates, first of all, a heavy load on your graphics card. Um, well, it even shouldn't be doing that. Uh, second of all, it increases the temperature, raises the temperatures of your graphics card, which obviously at 100% usage is not really uh, great and um, simply it, it causes a lot of um, uh, issues uh, down the line. What I've done uh, to solve this issue is I went to the um, NVIDIA uh, control panel um, and what I did is I've set a so-called uh, limit for... Um, uh, my frame rate on Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can do so by going to uh, the GeForce Experience Center or by going to your uh, control panel of your graphics card. And in the next uh, part of the video, I will show you how to do so. Here we go. So here you got the NVIDIA control panel. So what you want to do is you want to go to Manage 3D Settings, scroll down, and go to your max frame rate, which usually is on off. Um, set the max frame rate to 80 or maybe even 60 FPS if you're not running a 4090. For example, if you're running a 4080, maybe even a 4080 Super or below, I would set the max frame rate to uh, 60. Then, to make sure that the game is doing the same, uh, go to program settings, uh, add uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator by pressing the add button, then scroll down until you find Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and double click it. And then you get also a tab in program settings where over here, Microsoft Limitless, blah, blah, which is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. is selected. Then you scroll all the way down uh, to a max frame rate as well and set it to 80 or depending on the type of graphics card you have to 60. For me, this was a huge, huge change. Um, I went from 90 to 95 percent of um, uh, GPU usage, even already in the main menus, back to about 30, uh, 40, sometimes 45 percent, which obviously means that there is a lot of resources still available for your graphics card. Your graphics card won't go in absolute meltdown because it has to run at pretty much uh, all of its capacity and it will definitely definitely help in saving crashes back to the to the desktop another piece of advice that i would give you even if you do have a very good internet connection just like i do um i would highly suggest to go to online and scroll down all the way to the part where it says rolling cache settings um, rolling cache is simply saving specific data to your system instead of asking it to be ran in via the cloud in my logical way of thinking i thought well the service is still not up to 100 percent capacity sometimes maybe the game wants to start up and show you something that isn't there 
or isn't there yet because it's still to be loaded in and instead of showing you graphics in minecraft quality the game's just like okay um i can't show it to you so i'm just going to crash you out uh, i'm not 100 percent sure if that theory is a thing uh, that's just one of the theories that i have so by increasing the rolling cage limit you will simply download um the game data until a specific or a certain size uh, where it doesn't need the cloud anymore so if you for example fly around in the same regions same areas a lot of times um it would definitely also help you out by setting the rolling cage up to a higher limit uh, because the game will instantly be able to grab this data from your rolling cage um, usually i think it's set to somewhere between 10 and 50 um i have set this to 300 meaning that i have dedicated 300 gigabytes of data to be stored on my system related to the flight models uh the um uh environment uh the scenery um so my uh, system doesn't have to request it from the cloud i am going to be very honest i i'm not a fan of this whole streaming um uh, streaming of data stuff it's a high and heavy load on the servers and second of all in case you once get to a day where your internet for whatever reason doesn't work you will not be able to use flight simulator at all because uh, it simply cannot load in the scenery uh, making your game look bad second of all uh, i have already tried this out if you turn off your internet connection you cannot even start up microsoft flight simulator which i think is an absolute shame but i hope that my uh fixes that i've showed you will uh, will help uh also for you um in case it don't work i would recommend to create a ticket at the microsoft flight simulator forums and uh simply get your issue out as much as possible so they know what to work on and what to fix for now thank you very much for watching this uh, quick fix i hope it worked for you if it did don't forget to leave a like uh don't forget to subscribe if it didn't, um, yeah, I'm sorry that my video wasn't of any help for you, but I hope you will get it fixed soon and be taking off into the skies without any issues as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.